What is up guys? Hope you're having a wonderful day. Gonna make another how-to video. So yeah, I just got to altitude. Just pulled up beside Kelly. You know, this is our parking spot beside some trees. Um, I'm gonna do a how-to video. Probably gonna teach y'all how to jump higher. And another thing I wanted to teach was how to do a back and a half, which is basically just a backflip, but you over rotate onto your back. It's it's pretty helpful to me, so. so yeah, walking up. Croc gang, you know, you know what I'm saying? You gotta get them Crocs. Also, I forgot to mention, I'm gonna start, me and Kelly gonna start um, doing B-rolls. If you don't know what that is, it's like putting a cinematic type video inside of the vlog, so that's what we're gonna start doing, and I'm actually gonna do that right now. <laughs> Okay, so we're back guys. Um, today I'm gonna teach y'all how to jump higher because that's a really like big thing you have to do whenever you're doing tricks and stuff. You actually need the height to, and air to jump and do tricks and stuff. So I'm gonna teach y'all how to jump higher. And also since, uh, yes, not yesterday, the last how-to video was a backflip. I'm gonna teach y'all how to do a back and a half. Let's start it. Okay, so y'all probably can't hear me it's really loud so i'm gonna try to talk as loud as i can so on a back and a half you you have to learn how to do a back tuck first a lot of kids want to learn a back layout it's a lot easier if you tuck um you really just throw your arms back i'm not going to get into a lot of how to backflip because the video is right there if you need to watch how to do a backflip um it's pretty simple if you know how to backflip you just want to grab your legs and tuck for not even a second longer. Just send it. Just send it. Yeah, back and a half, you really, if you can, if you can back tuck, and just hold that tuck for a little bit longer. So maybe in the next how-to series, I'll teach y'all how to do a double back. That's honestly the same as doing this back, a back and a half. You just you wanna hold your knees a little bit longer. And then once you got that down perfect, you can add some tricks after that. You can do a front flip, a front half, you can do a double kaboom out of it. I know I can do that. Back four and a half. Yeah, that's about it. I mean. Video's over, bye. Just kidding guys, I'm not gonna end the video on that. I, I need to show y'all the master, like he has the best words of advice. What's the motto? Stay cleaning. I wanna go home. He was supposed to say just send it, but he didn't say it. Oh, 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 no, that's not what, uh, um, uh, just send it, bro. Okay, so the other thing I was wanting to teach y'all is how to jump higher like that's a really basic thing that a lot of people surprisingly don't know how to do a lot of people they want to they just kind of jump they don't use their arms or they don't actually use their legs um so just a demonstration how do you jump high kelly oh yes you just gotta whoop bro 720 okay so yeah we're talking about it and probably one of the one of the key things about jumping high is you have to use your arms. Like that's one of the key things of getting momentum. And it's almost like you're circling back around. But another thing that I normally do is I almost rotate my arms. So like I kind of swing them back and bring them up. And as I do this, I point my toes. Because I can almost get height just by pointing my toes and jumping my toes. So, you always want to use your arms and you almost absorb the landing. So, another thing, thank you. Another thing um, you want to do is say if you're trying to throw an egg in the air, catch it and throw it again, you kind of want to absorb the egg, the kind of want to absorb the egg dropping. That way, you don't crack the egg. So, if you just jump as high as you can and don't absorb the jump 
your legs are probably gonna fold and you're you're not gonna be able to jump again you're just kind of stick to the ground so yeah okay so it's like six o'clock now i work at seven so i'm gonna go for a chinese run you know what i'm saying i'll have orange chicken broccoli beef and chow mein. okay and we are out of broccoli beef tonight focus so you know just got pan express going back to altitude Guys, you want to see this disappear in like two seconds? All right, you ready? Ready? See, it's just as easy as that. Y'all need to learn that, honestly. That might be the next how-to video. I might teach y'all how to eat uh, in not even a second. So now I'm about to go deliver, you know, some Chinese to Kelly. And, you know what I'm saying? Surprise me. Yeah. Oh my gosh, look at the sky right. Oh, focus, please focus. It's like a reddish, pinkish, purplish, bluish. That's just magical, majestic. All right, we're back. We're not back because I was already here, so I'm already here, so I'm not back. Keep, keep back. I'm back. All right, so that's about it for today. Uh, I just ate Chinese, so I'm really full from doing tricks, but these guys came up to me. They said uh, if I can do some tricks for them, so I'm going to end it off with a flat ground backflip, and I'm going to end it off with a round off full. And who wants to film? I'll do me. You can film the flat ground backflip, you can film the round off. Who got a YouTube channel? Who do he does? And he's letting me film it. Oh my gosh. So yeah, I'm closing it out. Uh, going to clock in because I work in about 15 minutes. So yeah. Uh, remember, jump higher, how to do a backflip. Daily shout out. Definitely the person right above my finger. Shout out to them. Go subscribe, comment on their latest video. All right, you gonna end it? You gonna end it? All right, what's the three need? What's the three things they need to do? Subscribe, like. All right, what else? Come. All right, those are the three basic things. All right, slap the camera, end it. Stay cleaning.